Wow, there's a whole lot of science behind roasting coffee beans. I've always wanted to learn so much more about it because it's really, really, really interesting. That's why we decided to bring Edible Nutmeg on the road all the way here to Trumbull, Connecticut to Shearwater Organic Coffee Roasters. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I'm looking forward to it and <laughs> I'm not gonna read any more books. Let's go learn from the masters. Presented by Walter Stewart's Market, your award-winning, fresh, local family market, offering the best products and service since 1907. Check out stewartsmarket.com. Shearwater Organic Coffee Roasters is a small batch artisanal roaster. Shearwater roasts only 20 pounds of organic coffee beans at a time with a target profile to capture the peak of origin flavor in each and every coffee bean. The beans are then air-cooled quickly to lock in the bean's natural sweetness and flavor, so you'll enjoy brewed coffee with wonderful aromatics that's never bitter. Guaranteed, you'll be drinking Shearwater coffee within days of being roasted. Dude, this place is amazing. It's like it's like a science lab of coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun here. Uh, we're we're really enjoying. We've been in business uh, over two years now. We kind of took the winery model approach. Like if you go on a wine tour, there's a tasting room. Right. So that's my concept of what a roastery should be. It should still allow the public to come in and taste the coffees and buy beans, uh, but it's a production facility so we can roast what we need for all our uh, uh, wholesale accounts, which are restaurants, coffee shops, and a lot of the markets like Whole Foods, Fresh Market, uh, Balducci's. What is this machine? This thing is enormous. It look, I mean, it sounds like a jet turbine taking off. It's a Diedrich steel drum roaster. The drum is turning. You can hear it and see it. There's two infrared heating elements wow. on either side of the the drum that heat the drum and then the drum heats the beans. We're getting it up to the right te charge temperature to put our green beans in to the roaster for the roasting process. So what temperature would this need to come to to roast the beans at? Or what temperature do you yeah, like? we Is it different with different types of varieties? Of yeah, beans? it is. And But we generally, uh, we're roasting at about 400 degrees. Okay. Uh, but it could be as low, you know, 395 to 410, depending on moisture in the bean, density of bean. They're, they're all different from different countries. These are unroasted coffee beans, right? Yeah, those are uh, how we get them in the burlap sacks, anywhere from 130, 150 pounds. So coffee shrub or tree produces ripe red cherries. Within each cherry, there are two seeds, which are actually the beans. There's a wash process where the skin and the pulp is removed almost immediately, and then it's fermented overnight, and then dried on, out on patios. And then there's the natural process where they leave the fruit on and those sort of beans uh, and then after about two weeks they crack it off and take it off and those have a lot more fruitiness to them so coffee is actually a fruit. I want to talk about dessert. I want to make a really fun super easy ice cream. And let me tell you something. When people think of making ice cream they think it's difficult. They think it's hard. You got to temper your egg yolks. You don't want to break the egg or scramble the egg. I'm going to show you guys and Ed how to make an amazing ice cream using espresso and no eggs. It's really cool. Check it out. We're going to start with about 16 ounces of heavy cream. What we've got here is a little sweetened condensed milk, right? Some of the greatest stuff on the planet. Just pour that right in there. Now, espresso. Tell me about the espresso you guys have here. Oh yeah, this is our dark golden crema espresso. Uh, it's a delicious blend of Brazil, Nicaragua, and Sumatra beans. Roasted perfectly for pulling shots of espresso. Wow, that's great. Now we're gonna give it a quick mix around, ready? You can use your a hand mixer, you can use a whisk. You can even use your KitchenAid mixer if you wanted to. There we go. I just want to get it nice and mixed up. So a couple things we can do here, Ed. You can take this just like this and mix it up really nice so it's nice right. and thick and put it right into your freezer then if you wanted to. Or get it nicely mixed up if you have a cool ice cream maker like right. what we have right here. It's a great way to do it. Really easy. All right. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> well, hey, sometimes it goes everywhere. We can use that. Let's see. Our, let's check our thickness here. You can see oh. how thick that is on there. See? Oh, neat. Look at that. Now. We're just gonna pull this right into our ice cream maker. Like I said, you can keep whipping it also with the mixer and just put it right into your freezer if you want as well. And turn it on. Now, we wait. Awesome, locally roasted organic coffee beans right here in Trumbull, Connecticut. Make sure you check them out. Come by and say hey to Ed. He's a good dude. It's like going to science classes. They're all about coffee. It's such a good time. And this ice cream, mm. Can't think of a better way to finish up this episode. Ed, thanks for having us, man. We My pleasure. It. Come check these guys out down here in Trumbull at Shearwater Organic Coffee Roasters. We'll catch you guys down the road on Edible Nutmeg on the road. Cheers, the whole bowl. Cheers. 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 Mmm. Mmm.